¿Qué dice mi gente? Aquí en Manuel Moreno, saludándolos desde Mission, Texas, en el Aviator Studio. Andamos con el RS3. Yo, it's your boy RS3. We're going to be discussing a que celebrar music video. Ya te la sabes, entonces... Esta noche lo que queremos hacer es review el music video de Hay Que Celebrar. Um, just go over it with y'all. Um, para darles un poquito de los details from behind the scenes, little things that we had to do. Things that will always make us remember this video. Just like M1 said, so we're going to be going over things that made this video so memorable. And things that happened during while we were actually shooting the video. Yeah, so for sure, ahorita vamos a empezar. And this is the beginning of Hay Que Celebrar. Vámonos. So aquí andamos pouring in the kawama, ya saben. Pura de kawama. Where they're playing cards. Dice. Playing cards at La Lomita Park. Domino. Shout out to Pepe Maldonado. And Valle Cartel that couldn't be here today. <laughs> Shout out to Valle Cartel. Um, bueno, one of the scenes that you saw right now, we can go back a little bit. La de La Fajita. La Fajita, and, and we had some chicken in there. Um, esa fue hecha por, por un camarada the day before. Hizo ese pollito y la fajita, man, I, I liked it. I wanted to make some steak for it, for this video. Pero pues... Dije que es más fácil que no más poner la, la chicken y la fajita del camarada ahí. So shout out to Joan. Also, pues los frijoles nunca deben de faltar en una. No, los frijoles no. Who, who made the beans? Eh, mi jefa. Okay. Mi jefa, she makes the best beans. So. ¿Y qué tienes ahí? Una salsita. The pico de gallo. Pico con... de gallo. So the pico de gallo, the way that. Porque también me, me hizo un pico de gallo mi jefa. Um. The way she makes it is that like le pone repollo, le pone cabbage. Oh, really? Yeah, so instead of... I've uh, never heard of that. Instead of onions, le pone... Repollo? Repollo. Oh, wow. So that's... It gives it a extra taste. A different taste, taste a yeah. different taste. Well, that's so, good. yeah, I... I should try it one of these days. I should have, right? Last time a barbecue here, I should have tried it. I didn't try it. Este día te fueras que opa. Este día no tuviste nada. O sea, ese, ese... No, I, that scene. I wasn't in that scene. Ah, ya se había ido, ya estaba comiendo camarones. ¿no? Nah, we had just ate. We, <laughs> <laughs> we had gone ah, to sí, los sí, asados. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had gone over. I okay. thought you had gotten a piece of meat from there. <laughs> <laughs> Oye, pero ha sido bueno también. I don't know, we're going to go eat afterwards. I mean, in between. In, yeah. So, vamos a seguirle... Actually, can you stop it? Since, can you go back? But no, because we don't want to play. It's just the audio. Uh, actually, that part where it says "Echale Moreno." Okay. The person that actually recorded that was me. So just in case, if you all figure like who, they won't know who it was. It was just, we were just here in the studio, and we say, you know what, let's try this. And then M1 tells me, well, do you want to record it? Yeah, okay. So, and then I recorded it, and then from there, he just put in whatever he did, the little effects, and that's what came out. Yeah, so it was really nice to have that in there, because era como un uh, throwback. Because there's a song that I have que dice... Um, ese moreno. Ese moreno. And, and it was a, a good throwback to hear like that that part would we, sound good in there in there and and when you brought it up I was like Ita, taco, taco so like it would it would bring back that because we were here in the song. studio and I didn't know about that but uh there was like that gap where like something has to go there. And then I remember I told you, let's try this. But I didn't know. And then you said, well, you know what? Let me try to mess with it. Yeah. And that's what came out. And Not it worked. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can there we go. A que celebrar. Show. Me enseñó a echarle pa' adelante. Cuando metas y tus sueños se constante. Porque la vida se acaba en un instante. Yeah. 
just one other thing. And I lost right there. That's why I'm slamming the cards down. <laughs> El vato. Just adding a little lost, acting. Star, <laughs> lost $10,000 in it. Right there. <laughs> um, other thing que quería decir también. Bueno, let me, if we go back a little bit. El traje que tengo, el, el jacket ese, um, más que era un pancho antes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so, so you that, it? yeah, I bought it, uh, I went to Guadalajara like a year ago or two years ago. Compré ese, I saw it at a store, lo compré and it was a pancho, it looked nice. I knew I wanted to do something with it, but I didn't know what. Mm -hmm. But I got the idea to just uh, cerrarlo, right? To make it like into a chaleco type. So now you add it. I'm pretty sure your mom is the one that made it, right? Yeah, so my Efa, she's she's the one that helps me out with with uh, with my outfits. Your clothing. Like, le digo una idea and she can get it done. So anybody that wants... Uh, Que quiera trabajo así de una seamstress. Uh, she's the person to go to. Um, yeah, she, she helped me out with that one. Y, y le salió con madre. So yeah, it came out nice. It's, uh, it's the cool outfit. different. Yeah. Different, yeah. Because you made it like your own style, your own. Yeah, so that that's uh, that's something that I I did feel I wanted to put in that, in that video. There I go, losing. Damn, losing again. <laughs> Is that going drink? Were you actually drinking? Oh, you were cut. <laughs> now that day we were drinking, no? Well, some of us were. <laughs> hey, well, I was just trying to do the title of the song. <laughs> Nah, ese día el único que estaba tomando era yo y Valle Cortez. By mistake. <laughs> and that's right now when he'll come out, like we'll see when he goes like that <laughs> in one of the parts. <laughs> that was so funny. Yo, yo sí piste, um, como unos three, pero no, just the fifth. Okay. Fifth of the glass. So. So how big was the glass? <laughs> if it was in the, like the one in the beginning, in that big mug, a fifth is like a Sí, lot. no, <laughs> Fifth of whiskey, no más. No, pero estaba con madre ese día. All right. Tengo lo he ganado. Me levanto agradecido por otro día de chapa de la tercera que me cuidan los santos. Por eso no parado antes. No le falta nada a mi corazón. Mi mente enfocada. So that one, if we take a look at the back, ahí estamos en el McAllen Convention Center. Yes. That's on Ware Road and... And the expressway for frontage. Uh, 83. Yeah, 83. Um, you can, that scenery is really, really nice. I like it because of the palm trees, he loves trees in the background. Mm -hmm. I like that Actually, open area. Actually, all around the convention center has a lot of nice areas to do videos or uh, photos. Sí, también. It's a nice area. Y también, todo también depende, like, what la vision que tiene. Yeah, and what you're doing, yeah. So this one worked perfect for that. Yeah, el, el, cam, el cameraman, the, the videographer, también tiene mucho que ver porque he can get the, those angles that he he can see, right, that you're trying to tell him, hey, I want this. Y él puede ver eso and he captures that. So aquí se sacó la haga este first class cinema. Tomás y él Una misión que no me gane el juego de la ambición porque la avaricia se vuelve adicción. Damos un vuelo de halo a flote cuando me caiga no dejar un día. Me siento prendemos los botes tortillas frijoles en vez de ser humilde. Yeah, that was it. There were. I did not have nothing in my <laughs> shot glass. <laughs> Let's go back to that. Was that when Bayer yeah. drank? Was that it? Um. Or was I it don't when, remember. Or when Letty was there and she poured it and he went like that. I, I, th I think it was. It was there, right? I think it was there and he took off. Was it? I think so. I, I, don't, think, I don't really remember. I think it was It was uh, uh, that right there. Baye had water in his glass. And I guess he finished his water because there's a scene where I guess we haven't come to that point no 
where Letty comes and she's no, 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 no. That's the that verse that I. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to go yeah, back to that part because uh, until she comes out. I don't know more. Hold on, Lars three. And there in that part, can you stop it? Can you go back a little bit? To the jukebox. There, that part. Uh, in that jukebox, that old jukebox, there is a country singer, and right now I can't remember the country singer, but I think it might be Alan Jackson or Dwight Yoakam. And there's like a cover they have in their album, and they're kind of back. So that was kind of the idea that I was trying to get there. Okay. And that's what I was telling First Class Cinema, and he said, okay. He, so he said, okay, just lean against it and just do your verse. Bueno, que otra cosa es que esa, esa jukebox no estaba ahí. Oh, yeah, it was actually on the corner to the our left. Yeah. Because everybody's left, right? It will be their left because they're seeing the video. Yeah. Uh, so, it was over there in the back, and we have to we had to move it. We were lucky that it had wheels. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> there was no way we were going to be able to pick up esta, that jukebox. Esta masa, and man. you can't really see the pictures in the back, but that's like a Tejano legend in the back. Uh, Pepe Maldonado. Yes, sir. Pepe Maldonado. I think it also was sus rolas. From his albums and stuff that, that he's done. So he's the owner of La Lomita Park. Yes. He was... Uh, he blessed us with this, with this venue para poder hacer este video. So, muchas gracias a él también. Yes, thank you, Pepe. Tengo desde abajo al trabajo No he rajado, he sonado Lo que tengo y lo que tengo Lo he ganado Dice gente como les gusta hablar Yo voy a subir y voy a volar Muchos no saben lo que yo sufrí Para tener lo que tengo y hablan de mí Hay gente So what is it that you're wearing there? Right there I'm wearing a vest And it just clips on And actually It looks like one of those vests that they use Like where they how do you call it like a bulletproof vest but oh, it's okay. not a bulletproof vest and it just has where it's clipped on and my cap and a long sleeve white shirt that's it you know my tennis titanium plates in those pockets okay see sí. that's about <laughs> it <laughs> yeah but <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> 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 you can see right there, this a me But let me tell you what happened. I said, hay gente buena y mala, but I still continued. And I was like, ah, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, and I kind of messed up then. But I went, buena, and then I'm mal. I still pointed. I should have done something else. So, quién es el bueno y quién es el malo ahí? No, pues. <laughs> pues hay unos días que buenos, unos días malos. <laughs> oh, sí, todos somos buenos y también a veces mal. Sí, we have our good and bad days. <laughs> Ahora sí, vámonos. Me tocó aprender a la bala, pero la lucha no se acaba. No me paran, aunque por la espalda me den puñaladas. Bastante me costó llegar a donde estoy ahora. Y me siento bien porque lo hago desde el coro. Okay, Los well, consejos de mi madre, padre, There, where you yo. see me by myself. <laughs> where? Uh, go back, by myself, right there, I think. Right there, I think. There, I was actually <laughs> doing my verse. And estaba bien entrado in my verse. You know, I had the camera right in front of me. And I was doing it and this and that. And then all of a sudden, I think you were going to take a picture. I can't. And I was doing a, were, a video. Oh, he, he got his phone to do a video of there where I was doing my, my part. And he forgot that he had the the speaker that we were playing the music off of and it, the music just stopped and I was like, what? <laughs> I was, that was just, it was just funny when it just stopped in between my verse. But see, se me olvidó completamente and I press record. No más mira, the guy que se me queda mirando like. Like, what's up? <laughs> and you see, and that's why when I point, I, gente when I mala, now you all know why. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think go footage come get I said, Let's pull. See, 
Los consejos de mi madre, padre, siempre llevo yo. Y muchas bendiciones. And that verse is all true experiences. Nothing, I'm still not drinking anything. Si me la vivo, nunca negativo, yo sigo mi camino. Mientras sigan hablando, yo aquí sigo trabajando. Les pasé por encima del hombro. Si hay jale, me chingo, no me escondo. RS3 con la compañía. There, right there, that part. I didn't even know First Class Cinema was going to do that, but that was cool that what he did. I like what he did there where I stay point. So, I mean, personally, I like this shot, the man, because, I don't know, it just kind of stands out. The man, I like the glasses. They look they look nice with the... Son los Cobra. De esta vez son, de son <laughs> like, I thought this Cobra, I said, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I guess it, 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 it looks good with the black and white. That's what First Class Cinema told me. That look cool because of the black and white. Yeah. So that's one of my favorite shots, though, man. Oh! I can see you. Hold on. I can see you. Valle. Donde anda el Valle? In the theater, mira. <laughs> He's even looking for himself. He saw that. <laughs> he can't see. <laughs> And he did have like 20 exchanges of clothes. Yeah, so let's talk Wardrobes. about that. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody will notice this in the video, but <laughs> we're already going to point it out. Um, se cambió tres veces, no? Sí. Se cambió tres veces in the video, so he's the only one that... On the table, when we were all in the table was one. That scene was two, and out there with the vehicles, that was three. They <laughs> don't have Bali, no, they don't have Bali, no, one outfit. Yeah, know. I didn't even, I said, <laughs> I'm just gonna wear this. <laughs> nah, but yeah, see, I said, hey, in my one outfit, then. <laughs> so it's a Letty Letty G Letty G The actress The model That's where he was actually pouring She was pouring the The Tito So I said yes he looks so poor Here let's go back a little bit Right there's It wasn't water Hey <laughs> man So right there, she was pouring the vodka. Yes. Pero no sé, se lo olvidó, ¿no? Se lo olvidó. ¿Dónde so... estás, Valle, para hacer, para hacer, para que nos expliques qué pasó? Hmm. No, es que estaba allí. <laughs> ¿Sabes qué, carnal? <laughs> so, yeah, se le olvidó y le dio un swig. No, hombre. <laughs> I won't even drink vodka alone. <laughs> I gotta have some sweetener. And there. he got up and he took off to go <laughs> spit it out. No me con agüita, uno. The speaker looks really cool. The speakers in the back made it look nice. Yeah, that one too the speakers um we were gonna choose some different speakers que estaban un poquito fuera pero no se miraba that appealing right so this scene right here pues me gustó más porque aparte de que pues it's like backstage where the musicians like do their thing right um también ahí like that's the you can say it's like the sanctuary, the, the, the Pepe Malonado, right? Because that's his equipment and that's all yes. his stuff. So it's just like kind of cool to have that somebody's background in there, right? Like the way they have it. And I, I thought it looked more appealing than having just like the speakers on my. So, y pues también combinó con ganas su outfit. Con yeah, este, his outfit. Yeah. So he did really good here. And choosing that outfit. outfit. Yeah. <laughs> In his outfit <laughs> change. Mis victorias, mis lecciones y derrotas con mirongas y los compas que no me falte la bolsa. Yo celebro mis victorias, mis lecciones y derrotas con mirongas y los compas que no me falte la bolsa. So right there también, like I like 
the way that we all came out with that with that background. Porque sí, pues es lo mismo ¿eh? que dije, las palm trees and the trees and all that. The scenery makes it look nice, having the cars there. Pero the way that each individual, like, came out to, like, yeah, it just has its own. It has their own little touch. Yeah, their own vibe. For the video, and that's what made it stand out. Yeah. So that's, that's awesome. Is he in there, the there, that's where he was drinking it. Was it? Yeah, that's where he was oh. drinking. That's why he was like. But well, of course it was in slow motion, but that's when he. <laughs> so overall, what do you think about the video? I think it was it's an excellent video. Um the verses that we had were great. The hook and the chorus was excellent. The beat, AGW Beats, shout out to him. Yes, it was sir. a great beat. Uh, first Class, I'm like, it's just right in his name. His name, First Class. Valdemar, he did an excellent job. I guess in all his videos that he does that I've seen, he does uh, excellent jobs. But... Um, it's a very well thought out video mm -hmm. and I give it a 10 star. <laughs> <laughs> Not only so, because we came out in it, but because we've seen so many music videos, but it's a good video and the song has a good message. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. It's a, it's a great video. Uh, tiene, tiene muchas cosas que, que son, uh, Personal, I mean, uh, like little details, um, which I already shared. Y más que nada, pues la gente que um, ayudó in the background, right? More than anything, es, es lo que hace un video to make it stand out more, right? The ideas también. Um, especially the people that are on the song or if it's just one person. Mm. I think this one was really great. La song, sí, me sorprendió mucho porque I wasn't expecting to feature you in Valle Cortel, ¿verdad? Porque, pues, I was thinking of going another route. Mm -hmm. Y, pues, se hizo, ¿verdad? And I knew I wanted to make a video for it. Got the idea, se lo mandé a First Class. Me encantó mucho lo que hizo, ¿verdad? Que pudo agarrar esas ideas y convertirlas en algo... Algo emocionante, ¿verdad? Para algo que significa mucho para mí. Especially collaborating con el RS3, con el Valle. And the, the, my verse, personally, my verse, all that that I was saying on, on the verse has actually happened to me. And that's why when uh, M1 showed us the beat, he played it. And actually that night I went home and, and I wrote the, the verse. But I didn't know like how much and it just happened that it fit perfect and i had heard the beat but i just wrote you know what i mean and i kind of and then from there because it took us a while to record it because we were doing our own projects and stuff like that and finally came in and recorded it and uh that's why this song means a lot to me because all what i said is true in the verse that stuff that has happened to me and now I'm at this point that I could celebrate at the point that I am at uh, in my life. Sí, pues eso, de eso se trata esa canción, ¿verdad? And I really appreciate collabing with you, man. Thank you, likewise. Y muchas gracias for coming And more, and more songs will be coming in the Yeah, future. more songs, um, more collabs también de mi parte. También check out RS3 on the mic with RS3. Check out his channel. He's doing some a new podcast. Yes, interviews with uh, local artists as right now. And the first uh, episode is going to be coming out April 1st, which is this Saturday, April Fools. And my first person that I interviewed or artist was M1 El Moreno. And we yeah. did it here at Aviator Studio. And I want to thank him for being my first interviewee. 
and also for letting me come into his studio and be able to do my podcast here. And uh, we also have another surprise that we're going to be doing A Que Celebrar y Sol de Playa and Aquí Entre Nosotros is a actual show that comes out in CW. We're going to be filming April 19th and the show should be coming out on Sunday, April the 23rd. So stay tuned for that. We'll be letting you, we'll be posting stuff when the, the date gets closer. Yes, sir. So, muchas gracias por escucharnos. Muchas gracias por vernos. Um, I really appreciate all the attention and the support that you give us. Um, hopefully, y'all can hear some more soon. Um, you're definitely going to hear some more music soon. Ahorita estamos todavía trabajando en, en más cosas. Pero things. collabs and todo eso, just check us out. Yeah. RS3 también tiene su propio uh, music channel. So yes, check it out, también. Hey, muchas gracias para, para toda la gente que me escucha también. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Nos vemos.